The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. And I like how the golfer just walks down to the ravine as if he's going to do something yeah. about it. <laughs> that, that, you're not getting your bag back, buddy. All right, we've got sunshine in the highlands in uh, the New River Valley, at least mixed with some clouds, though still overcast in Lynchburg and Southside. And you can see the kind of effect that's having on temperatures, whereas areas like Blacksburg and Lexington are the warmer spots on the map. Meanwhile, Danville and South Boston still only in the lower 70s. But as sunshine gradually increases from north to south, we see temperatures is rising for load the bus at many Walmart locations in the Roanoke Valley. Uh, temperatures in the low to possibly even middle 80s, depending on how much sunshine you see with only a stray shower. But it is a little sticky out there. The mosquitoes, they're out and they're biting this evening. And as we head into the weekend, so make sure you've got the bug spray on hand. As we head into the weekend, that's actually going to feel like August as opposed to yesterday's April feel. Tomorrow, high temperatures, mostly 85 to 90 degrees, and you can pretty much copy paste the temperature forecast from Saturday to Sunday. Most of us in the mid to upper 80s. Severe thunderstorm threat for the weekend. That's mostly going to avoid us. You see that mainly over the plains Saturday. The storm system moves into the upper Midwest and Ohio River Valley by Sunday. I still think we could see a few stray showers and storms. Now this is seven o'clock Sunday morning and we're looking pretty much in the clear, but it's as we head into the afternoon and evening that you see some hit or miss showers and storms developing. Then as we head into Monday morning, we're mostly dry, but that system gets a little bit closer to us. It tags teams with our heat and humidity, and then it gives us the chance for some stronger thunderstorms heading into Monday afternoon and Monday evening, at which point we may be issuing a weather alert day. So make sure you're staying up to date on our forecast changes by tuning in with our free weather app. That's where we'll keep you posted on the forecast updates as we head into the weekend for any storms that may materialize both Sunday and Monday afternoons. Here's your extended forecast. High temperatures today again about 80 to 85. The weekend 85 to 90. Nighttime low 65 to 70 degrees. And that's pretty much par for the course this time of year. Now by Monday we're still just about as hot though. I do expect more showers and thunderstorms to develop as our storm system gets a little closer to us. Beyond that the humidity dips ever so slightly heading into next Tuesday and temperatures drop ever so slightly. Again, we're going to be pretty much uh, average as far as temps are concerned heading into next week. Low temperatures in the 60s, high temperatures in the 80s, and I know we have a few school districts heading back into the classroom next week. So if you're looking to take advantage of some summer weather this weekend, uh, there's plenty of time to do so. Just may have to watch out for a few of those hit or miss storms by Sunday afternoon. Yeah, and the temps looks like we've got a lot of cute outfits going to be on them kids if I, they're going back. I think so. That was always like the, the most fun part, right, yeah. is that if you were <laughs> out and about and, and, and had the means to maybe get a new outfit. Mm -hmm. It's like you couldn't wait to show it off. Uh, exactly. First day of school. Like, what's the weather? I can wear my favorite jacket. Exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. Yeah. And that's uh, but hey, going to school in early to mid August makes it kind of tough. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>